and fowls. Um, and and you, that's not a recipe to to, uh, to win a championship. You can't make mistakes, you can't miss two footers, and you can't double other team in fouls. Uh, but even given all those things, we still had a chance to win. Um, and I thought, that, you know, I thought Imani, you know, Imani didn't play very good from her standards, but, uh, you know, I, I made a mistake a few games ago and took the ball out of her hands, and I wasn't going to do that. And so we put the ball in her hands and let her make plays. And, uh, you know, she's, she's had a great senior year, and I'm, I'm proud of what she's done for us. Uh, I know she would rather have had a better ball game, but she did a great job, um, especially guarding Maggard. And... Uh, you know, it's tough. It's tough for these young kids. But, uh, you know, I thought it was a good ball game, and I thought we had our chances. And I thought they, they took advantage of the chances better than we did. Question? Matty got her for a foul with five minutes left. You were up two and one in the end before the 11-2 run. Was that just a coincidence? Or was it no, it's not a coincidence. Matty, uh, if you look on the stat sheet, when Matty was in the game, we were up six. Uh, or five in the 20 in 30 minutes she played we're up five so that means in the 10 minutes she's out there we're down 11 um, you know we're not allowed to comment on things that go on with people that have whistles uh, but what what I saw a bunch of was we there was a ton of people getting tangled up in the post a lot and uh, and I, I remember four and we got all four fouls and uh, that, that's tough. Maddie got two of those, and and I don't. And she got a foul. One foul she got. She was on the inside and, and got the rebound. And I don't. I, I don't understand what she could have done on the inside to go get the rebound. Um, but that that was a difference, you know, when Maddie. Because Maddie's kind of the, you know, Imani's one of our leaders out there on the floor. But Maddie's another one, and she's kind of got some grit about her, and uh, we'll get the job done. And. You know, when she, no, it wasn't a coincidence that they made a run. We didn't have anybody come in there and do what, what Maddie was doing. She was flying around, getting rebounds everywhere. Um, and it, it hurt us. And it hurt us again when she fouled out. So it, that was tough. That was tough because she played well. Um, I don't think it was necessarily deflating. Um, we've pretty much had games like this all seasons where we've had to overcome a lead or a deficit. So um, it wasn't really at all. It was just, you know, hey, we've been here before. You just got to keep battling, keep fighting, and keep trying to um, regain the lead. Did you ever run out of gas at all three games in three days at the end? No, we're tough. Yeah. <laughs> That's what that long time out was for. Figured I figured we'd roll no reason to take it with us, so we figured we'd give us time out and get a little extra rest. Kirsch, can you talk about your team's resiliency a little bit? You guys didn't shoot the ball well through the first three quarters. Belmont makes that little run to go up and you guys, you know, came back in the fourth and really um, you know, just weren't resilient when they go away. Well, you know, uh we when we start practicing and we start drilling stuff and working on stuff, that's something that we talk about. Um, and one, one of the big things this season that I've, I've talked about here lately with our folks is that, you know, I made a mistake uh, and coached and did, kind of did some things backwards. And um, so, you know, about six games ago or five games, I don't know how long it was ago, we had to make a little change. I was really worried about this, you know, because we hadn't, hadn't built some foundation in our kids and I was really worried that they would be able to adapt and then be able to I mean that it's not easy to to change styles midstream um, and then and then to do it and do it well these guys have really done it well and then do it well and have sophomores and freshmen out there with one senior and to be able to get down 10 in a championship game let's see we were down 14 yesterday uh, and came back and won and we're down 10 today and came back and get the lead you know I, that there's some grit in those kids uh, how we got it in them, I don't know. How they got it in themselves, probably their parents. Um, but it, but it's also, you know, the game's 40 minutes long. They're going to make some shots. You're, you're going you're gonna to make some mistakes. You just got to be able to, you know, don't get too high, don't get too low, just keep fighting. And, and, and I thought we did a great job of that. You know, we just missed too many easy shots. Easy meaning right on the goal. I mean, they're not easy because people are walking up under you and, you know, 
Um, but, the, you know, there were some times we could have laid down, and, uh, and I was proud that they didn't. I think that's a tribute to Imani being the, the leader. We still think we can get in NIT. <laughs> we still think we can get in NIT. It's up you to you to make that happen. When you go to the NIT, there you, you go. What are you going to take away from your time with Coach Jordan? Basically, be tough and just keep going. That's it, basically, a lot. Well, I'm going to answer for I'm What you better be taking away? <laughs> uh, what we try to teach our kids is that this, this is a game. And that resiliency that you were talking about and the toughness that you're talking about, we hope that she takes that on in her life. Uh, because this, you know, I know I'm not supposed to say this because I coach for a living, but this is not adversity compared to what she's going to have to handle the rest of her life. And, uh, you know, she, if, if she learns the lessons through basketball, which are pretty tame, even though they don't think they are at the time, she can take that and when, when she's got a three-year-old crying and has got to be at work and has got to take care of her family and she's got to do all that, and she can take lessons from Coach Russell and maybe even Coach McMillan and she can get the job done, then I'm going to be proud of what she did here, more proud than what she is now. Uh, and she's grown up a lot from a kid that probably couldn't change a light bulb when she got here. Uh, she, she's grown up a lot. Uh, and it was neat to see her from, uh, from her senior year in high school till, till today. Sorry, I hijacked your answer. <laughs> Brittany, you're, you're a freshman. You went to the same high school as Amani. You probably looked up to her a little bit. What did, you had a little moment with her after the game. Did you kind of talk about what that was about? Yeah, um, I could tell she was upset. So I just basically told her that, um, you know, to keep her head high, this game does not define us. And that a big part of why we're even playing in this game is because of her and that we're all behind her, we're going to stand behind her, and this is just bumping the rope, whether she's, well, even though she's leaving, you know, it's still, it's not the end of the world, and basically but that we all love her. And we went out fighting, basically, and um, if I was to lose any other way, I wanted to be this way with her, because we never gave up, we kept fighting. Mania, a quick question on, on your defense. Anybody who watched you Was that a personal thing going in? You thought this player of the year, this defense player of the year, I'm gonna win this battle, or was it just just happened that way? Um, it wasn't personal. I just did all I was supposed to do, play defense. <laughs> We gave her a job. Yeah. I mean, y'all think we're complicated. We're pretty simple. You know, that, that was it. That was it. Was an impressive performance for her. If you had told me before the game that she could hold Maggard to six and that we'd have one, they'd only have one kid in double figures, I would think that we got a chance. And that's exactly what happened. You know, everything that we needed to do to win, we did. We put the game right where it needed to be to win. We just missed shots that we that we needed to make, and they made them. And uh, a couple of easy baskets that we gave away, and, it, and, and games are so fragile. They're so fragile, uh, and, and people don't understand how hard it is to even play in this game, to even get to the game. Uh, then when you get there, how the games can be so uh, hinge on just one or two possessions. It's just tough. Uh, but to watch somebody play that hard for four—I mean, Lord help! Did she play the? She she played 40 minutes tonight. 39-19. I got you a little 40-second rest. Uh, she played basically the same last night and 40 night before. I mean, that's three days in a row playing 40 minutes. That's that's pretty tough. That that speaks to the kind of the kind of kid she is. Coach Coach Russell talked a lot about recruiting Imani and how she wasn't a point guard when y'all were recruiting her. He talked about her doing that goal for the last four years. She's still not a point guard. <laughs> um, if you saw during the game, as soon as Belmont went zone, we stuck her in the high post. That's where she plays. Uh, the problem is, is that we've had to have her at point most of her career because uh, there's a long story behind that one. And give give me about five years, and I'll tell that whole story. But uh, you know, she came in, and we basically needed her to play point to help one of our other kids out, and uh, she did. And we've left her up there to to kind of get us going. But she doesn't like it. She doesn't want to be a point guard, uh, do you? No. <laughs> uh, so I, you know, we don't. 
when the game when the game was kind of getting away from us there early, we put the Bonnie in the high post and threw the ball. It's not it's not complicated. And even though she didn't, she was two for 14. But even though she's two for 14, we got the game back under control because she's got the ball in the high post and things start to work out for you. Um, that's the player she is. That's the player we went and watched when we were recruiting her out of high school. Um, but it's pretty, you know, she's had an unbelievable record for a kid that's not a point guard at point guard. Uh, she's, she's won a lot of ball games. Hopefully she can win some more here.